Hi guys, look a few people have asked me about how I paint my perch coloured lures so I thought I'd give you some tips. And this is actually a summary of a masterclass uh, tutorial so what, first thing you need to know is that I'm using Auto Air paint reducer and transparent base and I'm using my Wada airbrush. So I've given some air pressures throughout this tutorial that are indicative but if you're using different systems you'll need to adjust those air pressures to suit your system and make sure you're getting the results that you want. So I start with a blank that's been um, properly sanded and it's been hardened and in this case it's also been sprayed with airbrush sealer, trans or not transparent, a pale coloured sealer. And the first thing I do is I give it a coat of pearl white paint and the reason I do that is it gives it a nice glistening um, base from which to, to paint your colours over. Um, so I'm giving it several good coats of pearl white until I've got nice even coverage of that um, glistening white pearl flake and then I'm going over it with a transparent yellow paint. Now if you prefer you could skip the pearl white and you could just paint a pearl yellow or a metallic yellow paint straight onto the uh, white sealer and that'll be fine too. So as you can see I'm giving that several good coats of the transparent yellow and I'm building it up to, so it's a nice uniform yellow colour all over and then I'm going over with transparent bright green. <clears throat> now the bright green I've diluted the colour with some transparent base and then I've reduced it with uh, auto air reducer so that I get good control over the delivery of the paint. And you can see I'm building up a nice solid green on the back and then fading it down to yellow on the stomach. Then I've wrapped my lure with some, uh, some fabric, some mesh, and I've added a couple of drops of transparent black paint to the colour pot and I'm just going back over it now and shading it all again in exactly the same way. Now it's not always obvious when you do this that you can always see the different shade of green going over the top until you take the net off. So have a little bit of faith if you're not sure, um, maybe give it an extra couple of coats. So the next thing I've done is I've put another couple of drops of transparent black paint in the colour pot and given it a good mix and I'm now spraying that through a hair comb uh, which I'm using as a stencil to create the bars on the side of the lure. And I'll do that obviously on both sides to give me those bars that are so uh, familiar to perch. So now I'll remove the netting from the lure and that'll reveal the scaling. So you can see there's some nice bright yellow scaling there from the, the yellow base colour. Now what I'm doing now is just going over the back of the lure again with the um, paint that's been shaded with transparent black. So I'm just darkening up the shoulders and toning down the scale a little bit. Now to bring that up and really give it that perchy look I'm now just giving it a quick dust with some uh, metallic gold paint. Now perch have a, a goldy bronzy sort of a sheen when you look at them in, in light so this really brings up the uh, brings up the perch finish. And then the final thing I'm doing and it's not for the fish it's for the fishermen but the final thing I'm doing is I'm just putting a little hint of red on the uh, chin of the lure. Um, I'm using transparent red you could use opaque or semi-opaque paint if you prefer but I'm building up with quite a few coats of transparent paint so that I can fade that into yellow um, as you move down the belly towards the tail. So that's it guys, a very simple perch pattern. I hope you found this useful. Stay tuned, I might put some more of these up in the future. Bye for now.